Staten Island held its first inclusive St. Patrick's Day parade today. The traditional parade held on March 3rd does not allow LGBTQ plus groups to march behind their own banners. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez spoke to participants today who saw the celebration as a milestone for their community. Staten Island's first inclusive parade means this marching band can display rainbow flags from their drums. And attendees can adorn their Emerald Isle green with the colors of pride, something the LGBTQ community has never been able to do in the borough before Sunday. No cultural celebration in New York City should exclude anyone. It's not New York. So I'm very moved to be here after years of arrests of protests, of efforts. It's activists and good, decent New Yorkers who made today happen. Brendan Fay was one of those activists who has pushed Staten Island for decades to open up the registration of its St. Patrick's Parade to the gay and lesbian community. But organizers argued the parade was a religious one and the LGBTQ lifestyles conflicted with the teachings of the Catholic Church. It's the leaders of the Forest Avenue Business Improvement District who decided 2024 was the year to end exclusion and host a separate second St. Patrick's Day parade. Love is love and we're all human beings on this earth and everybody should be included. I know there's some pressure on the left and the right, right? It all gets into politics, but, but ultimately, right, it's about celebrating. While Ireland is considered more inclusive of LGBTQ participation in St. Patrick's Day parades, Irish Americans, especially on Staten Island, have tended to be more conservative. Even now, during Sunday's milestone, gay and lesbian participants say this inclusive parade is just a baby step, pointing to the rule that marchers are still not allowed to unfurl their large pride flags on the route. Rules are rules, and like she said, we are going to take baby steps. Hopefully by next year, the mayor, and they'll say, let's do it. Let's have everybody, yes. flags, you know, and everything. Of course, we're proud yeah. to be Irish and proud to be gay as well. Ashley Rodriguez. Fox 5 News.